Hey, where is up guys? It's Fontek over here with another video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 6 to a Huawei P9 Lite here. But before doing that, guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I hope you guys enjoy it with your family and loved ones. And I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. And I appreciate every single one of you subscribing, guys. And uh, that really helps me push more content. As well as, guys, I promise you to get a better setup in 2018. And yes, yeah, so just let's jump into the video, guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so first up, you're gonna boot up both devices here. Both are turned off. So the Apple logo appeared way before the Huawei P9 Lite. Yeah, okay, I felt the vibration. It took some time to actually respond on the P9 Lite. Just wanna say, guys, that on paper, the Huawei P9 Lite is way better. I mean, three gigs of RAM, octa-core processor, or this has a dual-core processor and one gigabyte of RAM, but then you have the Apple optimization for, that, for, for iPhones usually. That's something you don't really have on Android devices, at least if not, if it's on a Pixel at least, because Pixels are really optimized. So let's see guys if uh, Huawei P9 Lite will be the iPhone 6 with the, when it comes to boot up. And of course guys, that's not really important. No, actually, it was uh, actually identical, I think. So yeah, both devices did really well there. And just guys, uh, just wanna say that this phone has an, uh, iOS 11.2.5 beta 2, where this has Android 6.0. So this has the advantage anyway, but uh, th that's one thing I don't like about Android devices, is that the P9 Lite already got Android 7.0 Nougat, but the problem is that they didn't roll it on this device. So it really takes time, it differs from region to region. I don't know why this phone didn't really get it. I'm disappointed to be honest. All right guys, so uh, just gonna try a fingerprint reader here on both. That because of the fingerprint, okay. Uh, so, um, this one was faster, yeah, kind of instantaneous. Yeah, I'm gonna put the full th my thumb, it's not set up there, like, okay. So, it's really fa fast as well. I uh, iPhone 6 takes some time, yes, but it's really decent. iPhone 6 is not that bad, to be honest. So, uh, guys, uh, I want to say th something here that both phones come at the same price if you're gonna buy them used off of eBay. Uh, this is both are around 200 bucks. You can buy them like plus minus 20 bucks. So 180 220 something like that So they're both the same This has iOS. This is Android as I mentioned earlier I'm not really getting updates for this device which is a disappointment because it I think it got Android 7.0 But not here to be honest. So uh, I don't know what's up guys I'm just gonna go to do a Geekbench test here as always so as I said, this has Android 6.0, this has 11.25 better too. This has one gig of RAM, this has three, doesn't show here though. And uh, this has an octa-core processor, uh, divided into two quad-cores, and one clock at 1.7 gigahertz, two one clock at two. This has a dual-core processor, clock at 1.4 gigahertz. I guess here you have the scores. So uh, as you can see on the single-core score, iPhone 6 outperforms the Huawei P9 Lite, but the P9 Lite does better in a multi-core score. So usually, it's always the same with Android devices, lower single core score, higher multi-core score, as long as the iPhone 8 and 10 aren't concerned. But yeah, usually because now the scores are really high on these newer devices. So yeah, guys, uh, yeah, but the thing here is that this phone has an, a better optimization. So maybe that's gonna help. So maybe scores aren't that important. All right, guys, so I made sure everything's close in the background on both devices here. And let's just go first for some basic apps that come with the device here. So first up, camera. Uh, so the camera uh, launched better faster on the iPhone 6. Let's go for browser. So uh, yeah, I think it was identical. Just gonna load apple.com on both. And yeah, usually it should be faster on the iPhone because this website is clearly optimized for iOS. Otherwise, it would be, would be a shame. Scrolling down on both. Scrolling down feels, I think, better on Chrome. So this device doesn't come with a native browser. They've got the Chrome, so basically can't really test something else. So uh, let's click watch here. So it loaded faster on the Huawei P9 Lite, scrolling down feels way faster on, on the Huawei. Leaving the app. Now going for settings. So uh, about the same actually. Loading maps.
Uh, I think it was about the same. Both ended up uploading the uh, map at the same same time. So it's, it's a draw. Next up, guys, going for phone dialer. I think it was identical. So iPhone six is about the same, and you get a iOS experience if you like it, like iMessage and such stuff and whatnot. So guys, I'm um, just gonna go for clock. About the same actually. So I'm really impressed with iPhone 6 because it's running the latest iOS from Apple and a beta and it's still neck and neck with, uh, with this phone on Android 6.0. So the thing basically that comes with it, oh, identical actually. Really impressed with the iPhone. So I'm gonna go for uh, some, let's say calculator. About the same actually. Let's try this thing here. High care and health. So it failed faster on the iPhone 6. All right guys, and now to run, run some stock, uh, some, some third party apps, games basically. So the next, first up here, Rolling Sky. Of course this one has bigger screen and uh, higher resolution. The same resolution you get on the iPhone Plus size devices, so six uh, like six plus six S plus, and so HD plus. So um, I think uh, I think the iPhone six was faster actually. Leaving the game, um, going to Flores Lava. So iPhones usually are better when it comes to running games. But no, this time it was identical. So uh, this phone is like older than this device. So uh, I mean, they're both doing well. Let's try Clash of Clans. Oh, so it really took some time to actually load it. So uh, yeah, but with this one still downloading content there. But still, as you can see, loading this takes some time really on the Huawei P9 Lite. So I know guys it's not fair, but still like loading took really longer here, clearly. So waiting here for this device to open the game, load it, all right. Leaving in case some lag there actually in the Huawei P9 Lite. Next up, let's try stairs. And uh, so yeah, even with dual core processor, the iPhone 6 is better than an average Android device, a two-year-old Android device. So, uh, this one's clearly faster. Okay, yeah, definitely, yeah, this phone's taking some time, the Huawei Pin and Lie is taking a lot there. All right, leaving out here. In case I'm lag. Next up, let's just run to the benchmark. I mean, just gonna launch it here, see which one launches it faster. Okay, definitely iPhone 6. Then actually, so yeah, um, iPhone 6 is really a good device comparing it to Androids. But when it's being compared to another iOS device, yeah, it loses, basically. Leaving the app. All right, guys, next up, Mario Run on both. The uh, logo appeared first on the iPhone 6. And uh, yeah, this game was released with the iPhone 7, introduced then. So yeah, it should be uh, more optimized for iOS. But yeah, it was kind of faster. All right, guys, and now for the part where Huawei P9 Lite should obliterate the iPhone 6, RAM management. So guys, first up, camera. And both actually had to refresh. I expected that on the iPhone 6, but not on the Bobby Pinot Light. Safari, oh, both had to refresh. Again. So next up, settings. Oh, both had to refresh. And next up, maps. Oh, both had to refresh. So Bobby Pinot Light with three gigs of RAM, and as you can see, 1.5 is free, had to refresh. 
So it doesn't really make sense there to be honest, but that's what it's happened. Okay, so the dialer was kept in this phone, refresh on the iPhone 6. Of course, this phone has one gigabyte of RAM, so that's normal there, clock. Both had to refresh. So till now, Huawei P9 Lite is not really showing the three gig gigs of RAM power, calendar, both had to refresh. Surprising. Calculator. A refresh on both. So both are just loading the app from the very beginning again. So next up, health and high care. A refresh. All right, guys. Next up. All right, guys. Next up, rolling sky. I'm shocked with the this phone, to be honest. 3 gigs of RAM, not keeping anything in the background till now, for some reason. Next up, floor is lava. A refresh on both. So the Huawei P9 Lite is not that better, actually. It's about the same. All right, guys. Next up, Clash of Clans. All right. So three gigs of RAM there on the Huawei like make no difference. Next up, guys, stairs. All right, so Huawei P9 Lite kept at least one game here in the background, thanks to the three gigs of RAM. Next up, final thing here into the benchmark. All right, so iPhone 6 basically refreshed every single app. This phone kept two apps onto the benchmark, as well as I think the calendar. And so one stock app there, I'm not sure if it's calendar though, so kept one as well as onto the benchmark and a game. So that's the difference really guys. So three gigs of RAM and uh, well, the difference was minimal. So uh, <laughs> that wasn't that big of a difference actually. I'm going to be comparing this phone to an iPhone 6S Plus soon to see if two gigs of RAM will actually outperform this phone here. All right guys, so just now, you know, do one to the benchmark test here on both. So I did do it before, but the uh, animations were super laggy on the P9 Lite, so I had to keep the phones, let them cool down a bit there before I did it. So I'm gonna test it here. All right, guys, so as always, just gonna speed up the things here. All right, guys, so here are scores for the iPhone 6. Huawei P9 Lite actually, I don't know, crashed at 22% or something, so I'm just gonna redo the test here on P9 Lite, but this time I'm just gonna skip through and show you guys the score. So guys, finally, P9 Lite finished here, so uh, scored 20,000 lower than iPhone 6, and every, everything iPhone 6 scored better, so 3D-wise, iPhone 6 was better, UX, CPU, and RAM. So basically, CPU, here, this phone has an octa-core processor, Clocked at higher gigahertz, so two gigahertz and 1.7 gigahertz quad core and quad cores, so basically two quad cores there. But still, iPhone 6 with an A8 1.4 gigahertz processor, dual core, managed to get a higher score. RAM was higher with a one gigabyte of RAM, even though this had three for some reason. But guys, at the end, I just want to say that the battery life on the P9 Lite is amazing. I love the battery life on this device. It's really good. And I'm using it per, as performance now. You can go for ultra mode or ultra is good. It saves battery, but the phone stays decent. Um, iPhone 6 battery isn't that good. You should charge it at the midday or so. And in the end, guys, both phones are budget phones now, so you can get them for about the same price. So just a prefer personal preference, if you love iOS, then definitely go with iPhone 6. If you love Android, then go with this phone. And uh, but if you can pay a bit more and get an iPhone 6S or something, then definitely it will be faster in this device. Hope you guys like the video. Subscribe for more content and peace out.